And that brings us to the question of who does extension. Historically, in Canada and British Columbia, extension uh, has been the purview of Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada and the BC Ministry of Agriculture. Since the 1980s, the capacity of both the MOA and Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada has been substantially diminished. There are not as many extension personnel in the province, and uh, there is not as much resource, including funding, available for extension programming. Certainly, the Ministry of Agriculture and Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada do a laudable job uh, delivering uh, extension programming, but their capacity is absolutely limited. In other provinces, uh, there is more substantially developed extension services. Ontario comes to mind. The uh, Ontario Ministry of Agriculture equivalent to, to ours, uh, Food Systems and Rural Affairs, teams up with uh, Guelph University to effectively conduct applied research and extension programming. In the U.S., land-grant universities are charged with delivering cooperative extension service. There is uh, no coherent extension model or unit like that in British Columbia. And uh, that, but that doesn't mean that extension is not occurring in British Columbia. There are uh, many actors uh, uh, taking up the mantle and engaging in extension, supporting BC's agriculture and food system sector. So, for example, Ministry of Agriculture certainly engages in extension programming and supports others uh, cooperatively, collaboratively uh, conducting extension programming. The agriculture and Agri-Food Canada engages in knowledge mobilization and adoption. There are six universities in British Columbia that to one extent or another engage in extension programming. University of British Columbia, both campuses, Kwantlen Polytechnic University, uh, uh, the Institute for Sustainable Food Systems, uh, University of Northern British Columbia, uh, University of the Fraser Valley, uh, Thompson Rivers University, and Simon Fraser University all engage in extension programming from applied research to knowledge mobilization uh, and uh, adoption in some way or another to greater or lesser extents. Also in BC, uh, commodity groups or commodity organizations or entities uh, engage in extension. So for example, Cranberry Extension is uh, largely facilitated by Ocean Spray, the cranberry cooperative that m most of BC's cranberry growers are members of. Uh, the BC Blueberry uh, Association or, or Council has a research farm like the Cranberry uh, Association has in which they do applied research and, and uh, knowledge dissemination. Not all commodity groups, however, have the capacity or resource to do effective extension. So uh, that uh, is not uh, ubiquitous uh, in BC. Also, there are consulting companies, uh, consultants, that do uh, extension-like programming. Two that come to mind are uh, crop health, uh, and advising out of Kelowna. They focus on more on ornamental horticulture and tree fruit uh, production, uh, integrated pest management, fertility management, uh, and, and those kinds of things. And in the lower mainland, ES Crop Consult is an integrated pest management consulting company. 
they engage in applied research and knowledge mobilization as uh, their business model. Then in uh, BC, many non-government organizations or non-profit societies have begun to engage in extension programming. For example, Young Agrarians, a program associated with farm folk, city folk, uh, conducts uh, substantial and very valuable extension programming targeting new entrants, small-scale farmers across BC. Um, in the lower mainland, the uh, Langley Environmental Partner Society has engaged in some extension programming. The Langley Sustainable Agriculture Foundation has engaged in some extension programming as well. And then finally, supply companies of technologies, equipment, uh, fertilizers, pesticides also engage in knowledge mobilization and uh, technology adoption. So in BC there are a number of entities that are to greater or lesser extents delivering extension programming. I think that we have to acknowledge that climate change adaptation and mitigation is agriculture's preeminent challenge. Very much like uh, our sustainability overall is a preeminent challenge. And if we're going to meet that challenge, there is much to figure out. And that means that there is a lot of applied research to do. Understanding how to deal with the challenge effectively is essential and it is applied research that is going to provide that information, those tools, and those methods. But it's not enough to uh, develop new knowledge, new tools, and methods. We need to facilitate the industry adopting them. And uh, oftentimes, applied researchers, because of research constraints or professional predilection uh, shy away from knowledge mobilization and informal education leading to adoption and sector change. So we, we need to uh, bring forth an effective mechanism so that the applied research that is conducted gets into the hands of those who need to use it and will affect sector change. So collaboration is absolutely essential. We need to advance collaboration between universities who are engaged in applied research and knowledge mobilization and adoption around climate change mitigation and adaptation. We need to collaborate with uh, all levels of, of government. And, and we need to bring forth an ex, a, a, a calculated, purposeful extension strategy to support agriculture and our food system sector, adapting to and contributing to uh, climate change mitigation. So going forward, I believe that it is important that we acknowledge that extension, agricultural extension, is a critically important emerging professional field of practice. We need professional extension personnel in British Columbia. We need uh, coherent strategic extension programming delivered by a cadre of skilled extension professionals. And uh, it is that, I believe, that is going to enable us to bring forth a robust, vital agriculture and food system sector in the 21st century that does contribute to climate change mitigation and is adapted to changing conditions as a result of climate change. Mm -hmm.